my name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round five of the Space Jam premiere event here put on by Gold Squadron Podcast. This is the first, officially the first of four in the series. We're going to have all four champions face off in the future in the Space Jam showdown. But today, we're going to crown uh, our top 16 and figure out who is our champion tomorrow. My co-host for this round is Ryan Moisture Farmer coming in like a hurricane. That's right. My brother from another mother. You know, Ryan, I I'm pretty convinced that if we came from the same town, I think we would have been like good childhood friends. I really do. I 100% think that if I grew up in Chicago, I never would have known. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. But we're friends now, we're and so friends. this is the correct timeline. Clearly, right, right. You're right. You know, I. <laughs> if you'd grown up in my hometown, you would have been an icon because we didn't have any minorities in my hometown. Oh, hey, I'm from the wild north. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, right. Is my volume too high or too low? People are saying that we need to equalize check, the volume check, somehow. Check. I check. think. I Check. I think I'm just being a loud brown person. Hold on. Let me work on it. Check, 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 check. That should be check. a little better. Check, 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 check. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, Ryan, let's go ahead and break, break down this matchup and then then I'm going to tell then I'm going to tell you a sad story. Oh, I love sad stories. Um okay, on the left we got Ebro 505, uh Fenrau with crack shot and okay. 1 2 3 four black sun soldiers uh those are the initiative three with a talent slot um z95s for scum they all have crack shot and then um captain Seavor with crack shot so we might get our first jam of the day and Ooh. then the other side we got Syra syriacles syriacles syracles syracles sir Suriacles, the fifth brother with <laughs> passive sensors and homing missiles. Yep. Darth Vader with hate, fire control system, and afterburners. And soon tear fell. Do, 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 do. Crack shot target computer. So that's, that's what we got. I can do a full breakdown at any moment you want me to but oh, I, until I, then back to you dion in that, the studio that's that's right so our matchup here is brought to you by curl paw creatives use coupon code space jam 2020 for 20 percent off there uh you can see that we are actually using the curl paw creative designs here on the table now the coloring uh, is actually the coloring for the frosted version of the tokens um but they are there are um transparent versions that he sells as well as the uh, special edition frosted versions it's just because uh, right now wasn't able to do the the transparent uh, look here on tabletop simulator but you guys yep. see those designs we'll go ahead and peek down here so you can see uh, all the tokens we were able to do there is a cloak token as well uh, and target locks but we weren't able to get the the cloak token in time that's all right though hey you know what uh, runs with sexy <laughs> what is that Curled Paw Creatives. <laughs> there you go. Um, now, one of the things I wanted to to bring up here, you said stat story before we jump into the uh, the big, you know, um, the big breakdown yeah. here because we, they, they're going to be here's here's the initial analysis. Syracles is going to be cagey. Earbro is going to try to put him in a cage. We'll see what happens. Now, here's my sad story. Before Tell I played, me sad story. Here, before I played X-Wing, uh, I would say this is about like a month or two before I got into X-Wing. Um, I watched the muse, uh, the movie. Um, I think, hold on, let me make sure I have the, the right title. Uh, the movie, it's in 2009, I Love You, Man. All right? Okay. I Love You, Man. I'm have with you, you. Have you ever seen All I Love You, Man? I have seen it. Yes, I'm aware. All right. So at the end of this movie, I swear to you, mm -hmm. I cried. Okay, I cried. I've cried before. All yes. right, I cried. I know. And my my uh -huh. wife asked, "Why are you crying?" And I told her, "It's like I w I want friends like that, and now I have oh. them." 
and now i have them. now you do it's you guys you got so many i got you man that's what i'm saying i feel you that's what i'm saying i would cry for you dion <laughs> I, would cry for you. I would cry for you too ryan oh man look at this bros now, now only tears of happiness miles of heart miles and miles of heart and you know what else was miles and miles of this game <laughs> All of those Black Sun soldiers with crack shot. That's so, oh my as we goodness. Know, crack shot. When you are in the bullseye, you can spend that one charge from crack shot to remove um, a, a evade result from your opponent's defense die. Just cancel it. Get it out of there. Nope. No evade result for you. And uh, if Fenral's got it, Captain Seavor's got it. There's a lot of drugs happening in Scum, and they're, it's it's called crack. That, that's what that's what it is they're crack all doing shot. that yeah crack shot yep they're taking shots of crack and they're gonna remove the the evades from from the the other team and ooh, fifth round yep for the and so for the children see, watching drugs are bad okay and drugs, don't do drugs <laughs> the scum are the bad guys the empire are clearly the good guys trying to enforce the law that's right that's right and oh I, man i don't want to get into the don't that's a it okay so on the top of the screen you've got the z95s and fenrau and sevor and obviously the strength of this squad is that it can really pile on the damage uh you're not gonna be able to avoid i mean unless you're an a plus pilot all of those bullseyes so you have to be careful that you know the thing about crack shot is there's the threat to spend it you know for you to spend the tokens we spend a token to avoid a crack shot and they don't spend it they still have it right so um you have to avoid uh Seracles has to uh, I don't know, oof, that, that's, that's, that's what we'll call them Seracles leave it Seracles I don't care if it's wrong Seracles is gonna have to avoid the bro box as I'll say it the mm -hmm. you know just that the swarm of these ships but you know Ebro also has a very tough decision to make with Vader fifth brother and soon tier all on the table he's got to choose who the primary target is that he's going after now dio do you want to break fifth brother down this is a newer pilot yeah and i don't think people are aware how good this build is we haven't because we haven't seen any major extended events this is the first kind of splash i think that fifth brother could really perform well in tell me about this build yeah, so fifth brother, let's go ahead and start by just reading the ability. It says, while you perform an attack after the neutralize results step, if the attack hit, you may spend two force to add one crit result. This, the synergy here is with the homing missile card. So if you're not familiar with homing missiles, it says spend one charge. After you declare the defender, the defender may choose to either suffer a damage, and if they do, you don't roll the four dice that are part of the missile. Um, which most people don't want four dice thrown at them because that's a lot of dice. You have potential for getting four hits, especially if you have a target lock plus two force. Those four dice are going to hurt. With fifth brother, though, if you let, if you say, if you like to take the one hit, fifth brother will say, okay, great. My attack hit. I've met the condition for my ability. Correct. I will now use both of my force and. And you will suffer additionally a crit. So that one hit from homing missile ends up becoming hit crit. So basically your decision crit. from hit from fifth brother is an automatic hit crit on the table or roll four dice. And how many charges does homing missiles have, Dion? A homing missile has two charges. So he has the opportunity to do that two times it's really really good and uh, tough choices for fen rao to deal with here yeah like this is you know what i mean that, it's at that, range two and three as well which fen rao does not want to take those shots at those ranges and with those passive sensors he can just roll up and take a passive sensor and do it whenever so yeah the fifth brother amazing new pilot for the empire in extended um only a partial card being shown on stream. Um, I didn't see anything on stream. I, I'm not sure. Oh, it's maybe because it could have been because of that. I'm not sure why. But anyway. Anyway, um, I think that if I'm Ebro, you take what Seracles gives you. Seracles. I'll just keep changing his name every time I say it. Um, <laughs> 
if he serves up Vader or if he, you just got to keep you, you have to do your best to keep him honest, you know, and just keep those arcs wide. You have some advantages. You can jam with Seavor. Um, you can, you know, get into range one of Fen Rao and really lay, lay a hard punch, but you have to make sure. And this is the key to the game, Dion. This is Farmer's Keys to the game. This is how Farmer's Keyblade Master tips. Farmer's <laughs> unlocking your strategy. Yeah. With Ryan <laughs> Farmer. Got, with Ryan Farmer. You you gotta know when to bring Fen Rao in. So if, you know, this entire game will hinge on Ebro's timing of when he just uh makes his move with fen if he does it well he could just eviscerate one he could lay major hurt onto suntir fifth brother you know vader it's all about when he decides to make his move if he doesn't do it well then oh boy that's a dead fen Rao. yep and same thing for Seracles, right? Like, if he overextends one of these aces, that's how you lose this game. If you end up losing an ace without end up taking anything from Ebro's side, you you end up, you know, with one hand tied behind your back and uh, and who knows what tools still at Ebro's disposal. And, you know, the, the bigger storyline in today's game is that the chat is currently 2-2 two and two in predictions. And if they don't go undefeated for the rest of the day, well, you, they don't get their bonus. So it'll be really interesting to see just uh, what player they decide will win this game. Do they go with the Scum Swarm or the Imperial Aces? Let's find out. We'll find out right now. It looks like Darth Vader accidentally got deleted. All right, so they'll go ahead and uh, and get that fixed. There it is. And that's why in Space Jam, you saw, guys saw how fast that was? That's why in Space yeah. Jam, you're required to have an extra copy of your ships out at all times. Right there. So that's it. Totes my goats. Yeah, I think that, man, it, it, this is a tough matchup for both players, right? Yeah. You worry that you will, a really good, a good picnic. Um you worry that with these aces that the crack shots or fen could just chew through you with some bad dice roll but you worry that you know with the swarm the scum that you won't have the firepower to take them out in time uh i think if you look at the configuration of the battlefield the gas clouds are going to play a huge role here right these are a lot of two gun two die attack ships you want to make sure that the brunt of those attacks are going to be through clouds if you can help it. Yep. And don't forget, people at home, here's your opportunity to cast your vote for Choose Your Champion. Type one or two in the chat. Sorry, I forgot. I put it up a little bit late, but this is uh, so we can get that bonus. Make sure you guys are voting. Right now, they're leaning towards scum. Bold move. Bold move. Bold move. And we have 300 close, people though. watching right now with only 40 votes in. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get one at least... One or two in the chat. Yep, do just, it people all you have, at home even i know that there's some people who are hesitant they're just like not comfortable typing in chat like having conversations that's fine but you can still vote just do one or two and close the chat window super easy yeah totally uh, fine low effort participate honestly uh, i don't know if you guys know but uh the more people we have chatting in twitch it actually does help and support our um our our path to partner like we're trying to convince twitch like listen we board games work very different than video games the communities work different we're very event based uh because we we get very low respect from the twitch bosses yeah. so super low respect i see people becoming partners of no business being partners you're you know what you're more of a cowboy than any of them because you're my favorite partner hey, hey. Everyone yell at Twitch. Make make Dion a partner. <laughs> maybe maybe we can uh, we can do a campaign against we'll bully. Twi we'll bully like, Twitch like, and send you your owl. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I like these Z95s moving up to block lanes though, because if they're occupying the space between these clouds, that means these aces can't safely get there to uh, be defensive. Yeah, absolutely. Now soon tier, uh, you know the position. I I love it. I love it. Soon tier might you know. Some players might write too hard here, but that's a trap, right? 
it's a trap. Like, oh, look, you can just, you know, turn to the yellow Z95 and arc dodge, and it'll be fine. But then you have Fen Rao and a couple of those Z95s bearing down. I'm uh, I'm curious to see what happens here, and I really want to see Fifth Brother in action to see who he decides to use those homing missiles. Would love to save them for the delectable, delicious Fen Rao, but you notice that Fen is staying behind a wall of nobodies in order to stay protected until he can make his move. Oh, uh, who's first player in this right now, Dion? Um, because that's important. That's a great question. We'll know in a second. Yeah. We'll see. If Fen moves first. Uh, Seracles, uh, yeah, according a, to the chat. He a 15-point bid in, in his, for his list. I don't know. I'm just noting that. Okay, so sa they're saying that uh, Sarah Collins is uh, going to be moving first. And that's important Wait, because now Fen can be arc dodging he, Vader. Yeah, but why would he do that? Why would he give the initiative... Yes. No, so, Ebro is the first player. Sarah, Got it. Sarah Ebro, Cleese that makes won. way more sense. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So that means Fen obviously can't arc dodge as well. But what it does mean is he can get into. He can know so that he won't get blocked by Sunti or Vader trying to do his things. So he can be where he wants to be, which is in some ways also an advantage. He moved forward pretty aggressively here, though. So he's got to feel confident that. Next round, uh, Fifth Brother won't be in a place to get in that homing missile. But Fifth Brother and Vader are looking to take advantage of this lone Z95. And remember what we said before, you have to be careful stringing out your squad of, you know, cannon fodder, because if you lose one too early without getting something in return, that really hurts. And it's hard for that Z95 to do much of anything without dying. Though if it is a range one exchange with Vader, I think that even though it's only three dice, you could get a shield off of him. One hard here from Soonterfell. We're seeing what the uh, what the goal here You'll is. You'll him hiding behind that cloud, right? Target lock on the Fen Rao. Strong be, play. Has the opportunity to reposition as well. Barrel roll most likely gets the the bullseye on. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I would do. And there's the roll. Yeah. That's why that was an aggressive move by Fen. I don't know if I would have boosted in that situation, but Impor we'll see how it pans out. Important to note, the soon tier does have crack shot as well, so high likelihood yep. of pushing through damage there. Crack on crack, violence. All right, Fifth Brother did take the target lock on that Z95. And look, there is the bullseye clearly on that gives Suntir a focus with his ability. But Fen also has a bullseye on Suntir too. That's right. Who also has crack shots? So we're gonna be we're gonna be trading some pain here. I mean, we're some trades here. You know, three dice, three dice. Neither of having a vape token. Nope. And this is just honorable. <laughs> Suntir does have that lock, and Fen doesn't. But we'll see how it goes. Fen will be firing first. Oh, Oof, brutal. Rough. No yeah, target duh. lock Don't out spend there. That focus. No. That's. Yep, he'll leave it. The struggle is real. Fenral did not uh, did not channel the powers of Mandalore the Great there. You're soon Perhaps to Perhaps he should have wanted it more. Target lock. He's got two blanks there. Yep. And focus if he wants it. He'd have three hits out there. Does it? Oh, he wants it. He wants it. Needs the natty he out wants. here. Oh no, Fenrao is gonna end up oh. at a single hole. Wow. That is a oh, huge goodness. flip so early in the game. No, 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 it's, it's two hole, right? No, crack shot, man. Oh, right, the crack. That Got crack. It. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming he's going to use it. Why would you not use I just, it? I mean, I'm, if he decides to spend it is, it, is the thing. Yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. One hole. 
That's do 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 do. <laughs> oh no! Can the I get? Sorry, I said oh no because the poll ended at fifty fifty. What? Yep. What? What happens then? Does the chat automatically win or do they automatically lose? We're gonna flip a coin. Ty does not go to the chat. Nope. All right. This was Vader going into the Z95. Yeah, not great. If, of course, you give the chat the decision. They say, tie the chat. Nope, we're going to roll it for it, guys. We roll for it. Oh, there's four hits for Vader. Oh, oh yeah. wait, he doesn't have, Vader doesn't have a focus though, right? Uh, use the force. force. Using all three force? Okay. Uh, maybe he had a focus? I think he probably had a focus, right? Yeah, he had a focus. Just pulled it. Yeah, so the Z will be at one. Ooh, such an open, rough opening round for Ebro. Man, if uh, Fen hadn't done that boost, that this would be a different game right now. That's the theme of today. If the chat's been with us all day, you have to be careful about being overly aggressive. Round. Like, look at this. The Z95 and Fen are all in fairly preventable positions from right. Like, you, it, it's hard to not be too. It, it's hard not to overcommit, but it's also hard to not be too sensitive. It's a fine line in X Wing for sure. Unfortunately, that Z is probably toast. Is fifth brother using a homing here or the the deal? Uh, yep. Or is it range two? Is it even range two? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's happening. This is a homing missile. He's just okay, letting, he's just letting him shoot it. it. Okay. So two hits. So you can spend the lock, right? Yep. You spend the lock on both. Yeah. And here's the thing with fifth yeah. brother. If you get them all to hit and you still have both force. You can do five. Fifth. Yeah, you, you have five. He, he will be the fifth brother. The fifth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he only did one and he'll spend just a single force to guarantee yep. it. And that Z95 will be toast. Uses a homing missile charge, but to get a ship off the table so it doesn't fire at Vader, worth, worth it. Worth it. Totally worth it. All right, so you got Fen route one hull. Number pink is dead. Ouch. And just like I was saying at the start, Dion, look at where Fifth Brother is, right behind one of the clouds. Safe from probably all these Z95 shots. Yep, no evade, but this looked... Uh... It's probably fine with, uh, is he in any of the bullseyes? Uh, chat he... was chat saying that looked like range one. And so he couldn't use homing. Um, I think it was range two. You said, right, Dion? I'll go, I'll go through the log and check here really quickly. Oh, oof. Fifth brother is obstructed at range two. It was range two, guys. I'm going through the log right now. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it was range two, chat. Look at them. It looked pretty range one to me. Yeah, I'd call you out. <laughs> Got him. Oh, never trusting the players. Never, ever. Not <laughs> once. In the history of X Wing. <laughs> Uh, 
That's why we got Nick here. That's right, producer Nick. All right, that's safe. Was the voice necessary? Yes, absolutely. 100%. 100,000. <laughs> oh, man. Can I say something? I love you guys. Everybody. You guys are great. Dio, I'm playing damage control after my savage <laughs> insult. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can, can, can no, I, can, please. Can I mention... My subs, Ryan. My subs. <laughs> <laughs> My subs. <laughs> I love it. It's true, though. It's true. I love I do love them. Uh, you guys are my friends. It. My friends. Like, I legit have... You remember you were... Uh, you actually had joked earlier um, that... You know, like, oh, if uh, <laughs> your friend said, oh, you could just have a don't play on TTS, play, uh, go have a Netflix party or something like that. I kind of yeah. I, I kind of want to have a GSP Netflix party. I think that could be fun. You can do it on Discord. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, not streamed, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but just do it on Discord with uh, this the new streaming thing because yeah. they haven't quite figured out how to make that legal. Yep. Um. Anyway. Oh man, uh, Sarah Tricera Triceratops. There it is. It's, found it. Is looking in control in the game at the moment. Uh, one Z ninety five has been taken out. Uh, something I always like to look at stat wise with uh, ships that have a lot of crack shot. You know, squads that have a lot of crack shots is uh -huh. number of crack shots that have you know gotten off. Right. Yep. So you know if you haven't gotten them off, then and at the end of the game, if you only got le if you got less than half of them to, to proc, then it usually is a failed game for you, or complete in other dominance. But <laughs> that's usually not the case. Man, so Fenral, you know what though? Even though Fen has only one hull left, I have seen Fenral do so much work. If Fenral's in a position now where if Seracles is not careful. He just starts pounding away range one shots into uh, into fifth brother. Maybe Suntir fell here. Suntir is stressed. He's going to have to take a couple turns to figure out what he wants to do. Um, but I want to see what he does with Fenral here because he could get himself back into the game uh, points wise and just positionally if he can manage Fenral. That's how it goes, man. Yep. Fenral can Fenral can single handedly kill uh Sunterfell and Fifth Brother on a single turn. Like it can happen. Like I've seen it. I've seen it. I've been there. I've lived it. The dream. Don't let your memes be dreams, Dion. <laughs> Never. Never. Z ninety five barrel rolling there using that red barrel roll. I love seeing the Z ninety five's barrel roll, by the way. It's just it's a beautiful thing. I love seeing the, the hidden hand on the board, too. The <laughs> dice hand. Yeah, so I purposely use that side because it's the blue hand, and it mostly yeah. it mostly disappears. It's not yeah, quite it's the right tint of blue. I know. I like it, though. Look like little ghosts coming on screen. <laughs> uh, uh, looks like we're making a va We're putting Vader in a box, I think, is the plan. That I mean, that's all he has available to him, right? If you block Fifth Brother and... But what you know, what Vader is going to do is he's going to five forward after. Probably so that, that seems that like a strong. He's unless, gonna three forward afterburners. Unless he gets aggressive, like too aggressive. But I mean, how oh, seeing Fifth Brother's move feels like he's probably on the bailout with everybody. Yeah, right. Just bail out, man. Let let, let them chase. Let them chase. I mean, you got a sixty point lead already. Mm hmm. But some people... His lead's so big that he could bungle Fifth Brother and lose him and still be... <laughs> Here's a Fifth Brother. Would you like one? I mean, how much value is that 50 points, Dion? Look at that. So good. Like, that's incredible value for what you're getting. Four, di four dice attacks slash 
auto two damage. Ooh, man. And then you got four survivability, maneuverability. I think in extended, like if we're talking like early worlds, if, if, if fifth brother doesn't change, which I don't see any reason why he would before worlds, if we even have a worlds, <laughs> right? like fifth, this fifth brother build, this exact one is something that people will see a lot of. It is incredible. And Agreed. I don't think a lot of, I don't think people have quite caught on yet how good it is. All right. There's a bump there. Honestly, that's soon tier doesn't care too much about the bump. No. Um, because he's safe and he's going to get a shot and a focus onto that uh, yeah, Z95. Totally. Vader does turn in. He's fine. But yeah, he's only he's trading one, maybe two shots, but possibly soon tier and Vader together could clear that Z95. I mean, I think I think if you're Vader, you can just roll out of that while there's a shot. Not even risk it. Just don't take any shots. Yeah. And then don't be in danger of that cloud next turn either. Vader needs his actions. Roll left. Shout out to a couple of subs we had there. Eagleitis and Reality Lemon. Thank you guys so much. And I'm sorry, I know I haven't been shouting out everybody today. It's just a lot of screens to manage. Uh, just because I'm doing more than just a streaming. I'm also managing the tournament. So all the love. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to use that Twitch Prime every 30 days. Here's Vader taking that target lock. Yeah. Pointing at pointing at Fen. I want you. <laughs> cool mate. But I guess Vader says no thank you. I'm i I'm surprised. I know I'm not. He doesn't want that cloud next turn, dude. Oh, the cloud. Just barrel roll. You're right. I mean, you could have just, just, just be like, ah, I'll just fight forward through the cloud next turn, whatever. Famous last words. <laughs> I'll just fight forward. Oh no, I have a strain. Oh no, a Z roll two hits. Oh no, I rolled two blanks. Nah, he would have been fine. He would have been fine. The timeline says he'd been fine. <laughs> All right, here's Vader. Range two of no way we can have worlds on tabletop simulator. This is an unsanctioned, <laughs> like digital. Oh, FFG would get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I will tell you that they did. Uh, we talked about this on the podcast. There was a post um, that FFG put out there, basically asking, "Do you think it would people be interested in doing digital events?" For yeah. and there was a resounding yes. There was a lot of people like, "Oh, just use what's available." I understand. You know that they might not necessarily be able to use the TTS platform uh, without some some hoops, but I think FFG has time to try to get through the hoops now. Uh, there is available, like there are gaming companies that sell uh, DLC, official DLC through um, through Tabletop Simulator. Ooh, hit hit crit coming in. Yeah. Who's this on? This is on. And that's going to be hit crit onto that red Z95. Yeah. Wow. I think the biggest question, whether or not that would work. Um, I think you know part of it's going to be the Disney license because the Disney license is broken up into like board games, miniatures games, video games, and is is an online version of X Wing. Uh, you know, considered like does that step on the toes of uh, of EA? Right, that's one of the issues. Uh, uh, that and that is a big issue. And the other thing is, how do you monetize something like this? Do you make us rebuy all the digital content, or like how or what? do you buy obviously the digital game but is there microtransactions dlc like what do you do so if i if i was in charge i would make it so that the ships that you like there's like a starter set that you bring in like a conversion kit essentially saying uh you know you can you can do this maybe you have somebody in charge of of uh <laughs> obviously none of us kept those proof of purchases but you uh you start with uh with a base set just to like install here's the price you know 
20 bucks or something like that. And then you can b buy to add ships. And uh, when you buy a physical model, you get some type of code that unlocks a ship as well. You're thinking too small time to own. Here's how you do it, right? When, when you start it up, right, you give everyone the game for free and you get your, your free, uh, your, uh, Tatooine pack, which is a random pack full of, uh, with one rare and five common oh God. pilot combinations no, thank you. of ships oh and upgrades. My God. And then you can earn uh, Republic credits, which you can use to buy rarer packs. And you can also trade in cards. You know, it's kind of like Madden Ultimate Team, but instead <laughs> it's X-Wing. And you're able to trade those in for higher rank <laughs> currency. And then you use that currency to buy even better ship combinations. But you know what? We want to be fair for everyone. So if you don't get the draw you want, you can pay real money, only $20, $20 for 100,000 uh, silver currency. And then right, guys, I'm looking to... for how to ban how to ban farmer off commentary. I'm looking for the button. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and that's how we X-wing, right? False. <laughs> and it's all just all card packs are just like jank tank draw. Right. And that's oh, all my you God. <laughs> you can't uh, you can't take the upgrades off that ship. No, that's what I'm saying. You, you, that's what you get, right? So you're, you're you're desperately waiting for the gold pull, the platinum super rare soon tier fell crack shot targeting computer pull. You know what's funny is that there's there has to be somebody out there who goes like, "This sucks," but man, I'd still do it. <laughs> oh, dude, the whale! They'd make so much money. People would do it. They they it's the would, whales, they, man. People would be so mad. Oh my god. Oh, the, oh my God! The riots, riot in the streets. I feel bad that we're not even really commentating this game. This is what happens at the end of the day. I start getting loopy and tired. You sure do. All right. <laughs> and full admits. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we'll see. You we'll know, see I'm what just comes of it. saying that because because in reality, uh, Syracles seems to have the game in you know. Pretty good position here. Uh, Fenral's spooked. He's out of the fight. He is spooked. I and mean, he was afraid Soontier could, you know, just like sloop behind him and start engaging there if he wanted to. Um, And of course, you know, I think if FFG really wanted to do it, there are people in the community already that, uh, you know, have shown that people, there is a desire for this. And uh, if we can make it, I, I think if FFG wants a good uh, response, at least initially, if, they, if they're able to release a digital version of it, uh, it has to be as good or better than what already exists for quote unquote free. I I think that for me it's you know I don't think that there should be a discount on compensation just because it's a job that's fun or a job that you're passionate about. Obviously we have a lot of talented people in the community but yes. it's it's just one of those things that's like talent, you know, I, I hate that there's a cool tax even on like game developers and the board games yeah like that sort of thing. Like just because a job is cool slash fun or passionate or something enjoyable doesn't mean you shouldn't be compensated just as much as someone with a boring, like annoying job. <laughs> like a skill is a skill. A trade is a trade. Agreed. You know what I mean? I agreed. That's my, that's, that's a farmer hot take. <laughs> All right. Soon to taking that target lock on the red Z 95, just trying to clean yep. up here. Yeah, and that's what that's what he's gonna do here. Um, he's done, you know, um, Sarah Apocalypse has done a really, really good job just uh, rotating out the aces, as we've seen, uh, is necessary when you run three of these imp aces. You you know, sometimes one shoots, and you ro while the other two come around, and you, you just fly in, not in circles, but you make it tough for your opponent to pin any one of them down. And as they chase one, the other two come in, and they chase one of those other two, and then the third comes in. And now that his hitter, Fen Rao, has come in and gotten dinged, Fen needs to decide when he's going to make another move. But with only 35 minutes left, down 73 points, it's it's not just an uphill battle. You're, you know, 
climbing a cliff face upside down in tennis shoes. Spends a target lock, gets crit, crit, hit on to that Z95. You're going to be getting one no matter what. Spends a focus, gets one. That crit is under the shields, and sure we'll is. find out what it is. If it's a direct, get the uh, Ghana funeral going. Panic pilot, too stress. The Ace of Legend is on fire today. All right, Z95 reaching, trying to see what it could do. I love this since you're still really good. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, and he's not broken. You know what I mean? No. Like no, no one thinks that since here is broken. Like I think he's fair. I think he's like a good, a good ship. I'm really glad that they nailed him. It was an important ship to get right. Just one hit. Plenty of dice for Vader. Got it. No problem. Uh, Ebro still has a lot of time, uh, but a lot of ships left. We'll see if he can uh, round it out. We haven't seen uh, Sevor. We haven't seen our first jam yet, man. I'm I'm mad. <laughs> I, I want, want some jams. I want some jams. I debated. I really debated making um, the jam token, the Kurapal jam token, into the event jam token, but then I lost time. <laughs> Aww, Honestly, last okay. night. Last night I fell asleep at my computer working on stuff for today. It was uh, a little sad. I only slept two hours because they're trying to make my computer not broken. Oh, that helps. I'm glad it hasn't sure caught does. on fire right now. Do you need to vacuum out your computer? Um, I didn't. I actually don't own a vacuum or uh, compressed air, so I um found an old hat that had like a winter hat. That has like one of the pom poms on the top, and I use that to dust the inside, and it seemed to be pretty effective. Oh my goodness, I'm triggered right now. <laughs> that's, that's. I also great. took the entire thing apart, the case, and took all the components out, and like the fans, like I washed the blades, like washed, I wet paper towels and stuff, yeah. and uh, I used Q-tips to get the CPU, and I found some thermal compound and re. I did everything. It you was did crazy. everything. You did full full lockdown. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't cleaned it since college, so needed needed it. There's probably dust in there from my old dorm. <laughs> nice. Well, I couldn't go out and buy a duster at two in the morning, could I? I be Donnie. I mean, you couldn't God. do it right now either. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, Z95 moving forward. At this point, it's bait. Uh, I. You know, you, you try to hang it out there and see if uh, your remaining ships can create some type of kill box for uh Yeah, for you, you really ships. gotta do what you can here. And it, it's one of those situations where it feels bad that you have to play out the rest of the game knowing you're probably gonna lose. Mm hmm And I hate being so savage about it, but that's the reality. It is, it is. All right, so Sevor hanging out, just staying behind that uh, teal um, Black Sun Squadron. Sorry, Black Sun so Soldier. Where are the imps going? I mean, Seracle doing a great job of being patient here. Just picking away slowly, slowly, slowly. Slow, 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 slow. Shout out to oh. my friend here, Zach Cronish, for becoming a patron. Thank you so much. You're going to be entered in that giveaway that we're doing tomorrow for uh, the Space Jam token since you're a new t new patron. And the thing about being a new patron when it comes to giveaways that are for patrons exclusively, uh, you don't have to be present to win. 
Uh, so we just draw a name from the hat and go from there. So thank you guys so much. I'm curious, Dion, if Sarah Silverman's going to try to get Fifth Brother um, close enough <laughs> to Fen Rao to get that second homing missile off. You have confused at least half of our audience. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's Soontier coming in. The bullseye's on. Soontier, I'm surprised that Soontier was was willing to go inside the gap here. I am also surprised that Soontier's in that position. Because he's going to get shot. He cannot get a, get out of being shot. No. That's a, that's a bad spot for him. Yep. Evade boost sitting at range one still. And I think he just initiated the jam. For Seavor, just get rid of that evade. Come on and jam. It's beautiful. Assuming that he, he does his order of operations right. Got to see. <laughs> I'm allowed three seconds. Uh, no, no. I'm allowed three seconds. <laughs> three hits and Fen Rao gets aced. He does. Aced. Wrecked. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, losing losing Fen Rao like that, you're like, oh, I'm, nobody's gonna be able to reach me. <laughs> Soon Tier goes. Cut to no, 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 no. Though Soon Tier can right. totally die right here. Like it, it can happen. Seavor, you gotta man, do Seavor first. Fen Rao didn't get the crack shot off. Didn't Jam. do any damage. Jam. We got it. We're gonna give away we some it. gem tokens. We're gonna give away some yes. gem tokens. Remind me at the end here. I will definitely do that. Two hits going into soon tier. Oh, that's two. Oh man, that is two on Mr. Fell. If if Fen was still alive, I would I would say that the, we got ourselves a stew heating back up in the microwave, but no Fen. Really tough. Z95 trying to get get it right here. Close the book on Soon Tier Fell. The Ace of Legend hit crit. Just needs one of these to go through. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh. The, oh, <laughs> not quite. Not, not quite. quite. Who I'm are you to challenge me, you nameless Black Sun soldier? Do you <laughs> not know who I am? <laughs> Man, if either What's of, my name? I am Soontier Fell. If either of those had been three hits, Soontier would have been aced there, but not today. Not today. GG's. <laughs> Colin R. also became a patron today. Thank you so much. Shout out. Hey, Nick, also remember, round five, cut out Space Jam sound, please. <laughs> YouTube's been, like, crazy about it. My bad. It's all right. I love you. you can't... Though, by law, by law, you're allowed to have, like, three to five seconds. Oh, I know. But I know. No, but YouTube, YouTube's been, like, I know. We ridiculous. can't fight against Google. Nope. How can the little man fight against it? It's like they don't know fair use laws. It's the worst. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> like, I think even uh, there's a big, big YouTuber. If you guys know Mr. Beast, uh, he yeah. he got a video. Not to be Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I was saying not to be confused with the L.A. Beast. Correct. But continue. Um, he got a video demonetized for humming a song. It's like what? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's BS. It's awful. It's so dumb. Yeah. We need some like content creators need to 
band together and really like like that's why fair use is a thing then like they let news do all kinds of stuff yep <sighs> but anyway we digress And, you know, remember I said at the start of the game, Dion, that what he chooses to do with Fen Rao will be crucial for how the game goes? Yep. Well, here we are. Because let's say, let's say hypothetically, he still had a full Fen Rao, right? If he had a full Fen Rao and he had killed Suntir on that last shot, right? Now, granted, if he had a full Fen Rao, Suntir may not have even been there. But let's say, you know, let's even say Fen Rao didn't die there and Suntir did die. It's still a game at that point. It, it suddenly swings that pendulum back towards being, you know, Ebro can climb the mountain. But with these three imp aces still on the board, you still have a homing missile on fifth brother. Vader is still ready to saber his way through some noobs. It's just very, feels insurmountable. Ah, oh, man. Z95 coming in. Yeah, trying. Hoping hoping to catch him some Sumter Fell. You know what? You you cast out the uh, the fishing rod. You see what you get. That's all you can do. Vader trying to hunt down the red Z95. We'll probably just see the target lock focus here. I'm glad somebody got my LA Beast reference. I love that YouTube channel. <laughs> Soon to your Audi four straight. Yeah, Suntir's just got to get out of there. There's no... You can't do any good back there. He's got that one hole. Conserve those points. Yep. Keep Bo the MOV. Focus boost. Get out. Go away. Vader has him in his sights. Range two. The red At least that we saw the jam come into play. I'm, I'm super glad. Three hits. That one of them is going to be a crit. That Z95 is done. Toast. You know, speaking of toast, if you put toast. Tell me about toast. What, what, if I told you, let's have some toast, what, what, do you, yes. what do you call that in your mind? What is toast? If you tell me, let's have some toast. Like, what do you expect to see on a plate? If I say, here's some toast. Uh, um, I expect two pieces of bread that have been the toaster, and then those are just placed in front of me, and then there's butter available at the table. Okay, th I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I That's I, what I would say. I was super surprised. One of the, you know, you learn a lot of things about your spouse over the over the years, right? Um, sure. And I, sure. I remember the day Devin's like, Oh, I'm going to have some toast. And I'm like, all right, cool. Here's the butter. And she goes, where's the jelly? I'm like, what? The jelly. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? Jelly? Just the jelly. And I'm like, what? She just butter and jelly together. That's evaded. Both of them. Uh, jelly. Jelly goes on English muffins, not on toast. <laughs> and you know, I, I've gotten used to it, but I was just so confused. I was just very confused. The butter and the jelly. I could see just jelly or just butter, but both? Poor both is absurd. Listen, if you're going to combine butter with anything, it's going to be cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar on toast. That's the way it goes. <laughs> I like the one way to get the, the chat going is, to, is talking about this kind of stuff. Uh, yes, my wife is, uh, hails from Chillicothe, Ohio. If you guys... I don't know. Does anybody in the in this chat know where that is? It's a, it's a little little place. 
And we're, we're talking jam or jelly. There's only one answer. Everyone knows only one of those things is correct. And I'm going to let the chat decide. I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take a stance. I'm not going to tell you what I think, but I'm going to tell you that only one is correct. Not both. Can, can I tell you a secret, Ryan? What, what's the secret? I've never had jam. What? You've never had jam? I've never had jam. I'm going to tell you where you can jam that poor palate of yours. <laughs> hey, my parents never bought jam, okay? It's, it's I I am I am a victim of my uh what my upbringing. This how can you how can you be running a tournament <laughs> called the Space Jam <laughs> Tournament without having any jam? This is this is outrageous. It's unfair. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> Alright. Chat, can we get can we can we get some jam to Dion? My god. Just saying, I don't and, know. It's never and, happened. And grape jam is best jam, and I don't care what anyone else says. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> All right, there's a K turn. We'll probably see a 3K from Zivor as well. 29, 119, 18 minutes left. Much respect to Ebro for sticking it out in the game. Yeah, you. if you guys ask me about food for a while, you will discover very quickly that I am not very... Uh, culinary culinary uh, diverse you do not have a ref you do not have a diverse palate and neither did i until i met d yeah. bullied me oh and he bullied me stop. into expanding my horizons You're bullying me all you need chicken wing man yeah all, i am chicken wing man <laughs> but all you need dion is someone that will shame you and bully you and yell at you enough until you feel so horrible about yourself that you try other things just to get them to shut up. <laughs> That's my relationship with D. Fantastic. All right, fifth brother looking at Sivor. Launch the homing missile. <laughs> Launch. Launch the missile. The missile. Fires a missile. That's a throwback internet video. If anyone knows what that's from. And barrel rolls out saying, nah, bro, I don't want I don't want to play that game. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want to. I want to keep my lead. Thank you. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> and there is. Oh, oh man. Look at that. That was the. Oh, wait, what was it? The, the die roll for? A, what? A cloud? I don't know. The rock. Oh, Vader hit the uh, rock. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Everything's fine. Yep. Vader one oh. forward after our side. To victory. The, the, the afterburners there. Yeah, he wants it. He Thanks. wants it so bad. Hello there. Thank you very much. Afterburners. Lock. Yellow is full, but I mean, no mods could take them out in a single shot. I will tell you, as you know, what we'll start a riot in the chat as a kid, and sometimes even now, I will have a peanut butter and uh, cooked ham sandwich. It's absolutely delicious. But what kind of ham? What do you mean, what kind of ham? Whatever ham you got, give me ham. Cook it up. You good. I don't really like ham. I've actually I'm done not it. a ham guy. I've done it with spam, too, but it has to be, like, super well done. I'm not really a spam guy, either. Well, you know what? You're, you're obviously against the ams. All right. Ooh, There's Vader. There's only one am I like. Three hits. Get him. Uh, two hits, two oh. crits. Uh, oh, clench. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see that die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the die wanted he wanted. He was like, no, I, I will live. I can't die. All right. I have a family. All right. Well, we'll see what the crit is. Damage engine. I have a family. All right. That is the, the mark for me to let the people know to switch to using the uh, Google Doc. But you already told people not to use TTT at all. I mean, you're right. But this is the point in which I'm going to remind them again. Just in case. I'm sure it'll work out. Smile face. All right. <laughs> you believe. You keep believing. All right, Ryan, take over while I do this. I'll take over. Um, all right, we got Sarah Soto over here just taking control of the game. And Ebro trying to have some semblance of uh, pride to get more points. Though the 29 points is a nice consolation. Not going to get soon tier. Two hits on the table. And just, you know, that will not be enough to, you know, deal that damage. Spending a focus. That's a focus from Curled Paw Creative. If you are uh, looking to get some acrylic tokens, trying to expand your... You know, gaming, uh, library of uh, chits and focuses and anything. Use code Space Jam 2020 for 20 percent off. Curl Pop Creatives is the coupon code good on Tuesday? X Pop, that is an excellent question. I don't know. No. Dion <laughs> says no. It's not good on Tuesday. Today, today, today. All right, two hits going at Vader, it looks like. Just barely obstructed by the cloud. And, uh, you know, a huge credit to... Um, um, Planet Saturn. I couldn't think of a good one on that one. Sorry. It's all right. You try. I, I could feel. I, I could feel that the. The, I, it's I, I, the summon it wasn't there. You know, I just couldn't couldn't think of anything. Uh. Anyway, for using like using the clouds to um his advantage, because it's not easy to be able to manipulate these aces around them in such a way to avoid the swarm. But we've seen you know expert play here and that that soon to your gamble at the start to just go head on against fen Rao, that could have easily backfired that could have swung really hard the other way but it didn't that's some that sometimes to win you have to take a big risk sometimes you don't but in this particular case with the lock and the focus it was a good uh, it was a good uh move All right. So our, cur our score currently sits at 29 to 132. Remember guys, we have one more game. Now this was an elimination match essentially because you get you have to be 5 and 1 uh with the numbers that we had in order to make it into the cut. So uh it just looks like Seracles has is going to be making it and uh Nick next round is going to find us another uh another bubble game another one of these uh you know 4 and 1 games to figure out who's going to end up making it into the cut. You know, I love bubble games cuz they are the most tense, but I wonder Dion, do they get more tense when you're alone in your apartment or are they less tense because you don't have the eyes of a thousand people? Around? Um, you know, I don't, it might be just as much. It's just in a different way. Right. Like people are not physically looking at your, your face, your body, you know, but it's, uh, they're still looking. They're still thinking. I find it one. I really find it interesting. If, um, I, <clears throat> I think that 
in this sort of online play, right? You don't, there's some players that are good at looking at their opponents and having those sorts of tells. We've talked about it before on some of the podcasts oh, yeah. about how players can, you know, like poker, maybe read opponents or see how you know, those work, or at least have like a physical demeanor to influence kind of the vibe of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and without, you know, obviously they're communicating via chat, like voice chat, but sometimes there's a demeanor that can be tense or relaxing. And I wonder if, I, th I feel like I would be more relaxed without having my opponent so tense on the other side with me either. There, there's something about not having kind of that overwhelming pressure of after the game, having to go up to your friend and be like, yeah, I messed up. You can just, when it's done, you don't have to talk to anybody. You can take a breather, yell into a pillow. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Pet your dog. Eat some pepperoni. <laughs> om nom nom. Nom nom nom. Triple crits coming in. Vader wants it. Be denied. And I know this is a competitive tier event, Dion, but I'd like to think that we're all just being pretty chill about the whole thing. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, it's not like... You know, it's not like there's a world's invite on the line. Not like there's, like, big money other than that belt. I don't know. Those uh, those District Foundry uh, boxes are pretty sweet, too, and those awesome templates. Yellow's off the board. No, no. They're all dead. Oh, God. Stop. He's already dead. You're killing him. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> So right now, you might be wondering, like, why haven't they just called the game? Uh, MOV does matter for ranking for um, for the faction prizes. So they're pay playing it out to the bitter end. Every point matters. All right, three defense dice coming in. Oh, sneaks in How a about that? sneaks in a, a shield there on the fifth brothers. Little 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 slap oh. in the face. He's not going down without a fight, Dion. That's right. What's your takeaway from this game, Dion? Post game notes. Post game note. Oh, wait, did, did 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 he just do damage? Did Vader have force available? Vader just gets uh gets gets touched too. Wow. A little little oh tap. My gosh. Little 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 tap tap. Oh little, little slap. Oh slap there too. Yeah, that's half points on Vader, by the way. Uh, sorry, yes, he shot into Vader, both shots. So Vader got half points. Ebro grab, grabbing some points. Yeah. Whoa, okay, okay. Oops. And the crack shot was used to get over that half. So 68 to 144. Ebro's not giving up. Five minutes fight for every point you can get. I'll tell you, you know, when you look at faction ratings <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you're like, oh my gosh, I missed it by six MOV. That feels sure. real bad. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Hurts quite a bit. Oh man. You know, one of the things I noticed, well, that wasn't uh, looking for bingo factions. I'm not gonna mess with that right now.
All right, Ryan. So looking at uh, the couple of, uh, of games that we've seen so far, a couple of the five games we've seen so far, if you were playing yep. in Space Jam this weekend, what faction would you have brought? Um, if I were playing just for funsies or if I were playing to, to win? To, for the dub. You're going for the dub. What would you for bring? The, for the dub, I probably would have brought Gended Inquisitors with fifth brother. this fifth brother. Okay. And what if you were coming for the lulls? For the lulls, I think I would have taken um, my fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of fireballs and rows. That's, that's probably what I would have done. You never know. You could have done all right. I mean, who knows? I mean, that's fine. Uh, you know, I think... Uh, I don't know. Just gotta believe. What about you, Dion? What about you? Tell me if you, if for once. Ah, uh, <laughs> you flipped the tables on me. This is my show. <laughs> um, I would have. Well, which which one do you want first? Give me your funsies. What would you run for fun? For funsies. I probably would have brought um, – I have the squad Fenrau, uh, three M3As with Tractor Beam, and then a Zealot. I probably would have brought that for, for the funsies. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Would have brought that for funsies. Competitive, um, I probably would have tried real hard with Ollie's list and not done very well. But that's probably what I would have brought. Um. Like, that's the play style that I wish I was good at, so I keep trying and thinking, you know what? We just keep practice. Just keep practice. Practice makes better. Hit you know, crit. I respect you for that choice, Dion. Uh, Ebro still fighting, though. Still trying to get those points with two minutes left. All right. Closing in here. Suntir might be rounded. I think Suntir has to be careful to see come in as well, right? For sure. Like, it's 144 to 68. It's unlikely Ebro comes back, but if he's not careful and he's too aggressive, you know, there could be damage done. All right. Looks like two go in. Does he have a focus? He does. So one goes in. Shield down. Dang. Reality Lemon. Dion, have you seen the Thunderstruck video from the two cellos? Yes. Yes, I have. I've used that video clip in my class before. For those, of you, for those of you guys who don't know, my uh, my day job is I'm an orchestra teacher, which has been very interesting with distance learning. Ooh, blank out. Blue. Look out. Look out. I'm confused what just happened there. What, what was... Yeah, yeah, I actually, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a little confused too. Can you, what happened? <laughs> I think maybe they were just putting the dice down. I got bamboozled. Uh, safe. Dion, speaking of orchestra, what is your favorite orchestra piece? Oh my goodness. Why? Um, I really enjoy Mozart's 40th Symphony, but that's because I have an emotional like connection to it. Not I feel you, but what about Chopin's first symphony? Chopin's first, yeah. Chopin's first and did Chopin write symphonies? I don't think he did. Yeah, you didn't expect me to know so much about music. Did oh, you? Hold on. <laughs> I don't think Chopin ever wrote a symphony. <laughs> I yeah, I don't, don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> No, he never. I mean, 
No, he didn't. No, dude. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> got I know, him. I, just, I was like, I was like, I was like, no, 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 no. I don't know. Chopin's a musician, right? Yeah, he, he is. Something. He is. He wrote a bunch yeah, of piano is. stuff. He didn't write symphonies though. I mean, you could make any piano music a symphony if you try hard. <laughs> Face palm. Uh, Face palm. All right, that's time in the round, guys. You know, I feel bad about. I'm sorry, Ebro, and this, um, Sarah, Sierra Club. There it is. Sorry, Ebro and Sierra Club for not commentating your game as well as I could have. That's on me. I'll do better next time. That was on me. I love how people are uh, are are putting in the chat. Con Ah, Sarah Misu, Sarah Sue, Sarah McLaughlin. These are all good ones. Listen, uh, what you're, that's his piano concerto. A concerto is not a symphony. A concerto is half a step away from a symphony. Did you just I make fun know. of the way I, I said concerto? No, I was trying to say the word. <laughs> I, would not, I, don't, I don't know what a concerto is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the word is. So I was just trying my closest to, do, to imitate what you said. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, man. Love it. This is good times. This is good Wait, times. Wait, a, con a concerto basically has the word concert in it, which is basically what happens when you go to a symphony. No, it's symphony has multiple meanings. D does symphony have to be only more than one instrument? It does, but a, a piano concerto is a piece that features uh, a certain instrument as a feature group with an orchestral accompaniment. A symphony is a piece of music that features the entire orchestra. There might be uh, solos within it moving around, but it is essentially a uh, a work a work for orchestra. You know what? I learned something here today. There you go. That I don't know anything about music. <laughs> it's all right. I'm here to teach. That's who I am. <laughs> all right. So this game uh, is, is almost in the books. He's trying to see right now. Ebro trying to see if he can grab any uh, last couple points. You know you know who's going to be mad right now? The people who watch on YouTube later. Like, why didn't you guys like, focus on the game? Guys, come on. Relax. Let's have a good time. Oh, two hits. Two hits. Get that Vader. No, not he today. He wants him. He wants him. But he won't get him. Uh, all righty. Well, that... Um... Good game, good game, good game. Thank you, players. I'm going to go tell them. Thank you guys.